What is going on, guys? It's Jake back at it again here for another beer review for you guys. So SmackDown is going to start in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to try to be really quick with this video. But today we have a Flesh and Blood IPA, which I think is probably my favorite beer right now. And this is um, Dogfish Head, Delaware, United States. So a lot of people who drink Dogfish Head, and you guys already know from me saying it a million times, showing you guys crazy. I don't like maltiness. Their beers are all malt. Um, I know a lot of people like it. I just can't. But this beer, and I've said it before, there's no malt in this beer. And this beer, if I had, a, if I made it a little brighter, you can see, but it's red. It's like a ruby red color. And it's not a red ale. I'm not a big fan of red ales either. But, man, just a beautiful looking beer. I mean, this is just something that I can stare at for a while. But anyways, guys, Flesh and Blood IPA, it has lemons, um, blood, orange, and then just regular orange juice and, you know, hops. Basically it. I mean, what else do you need? So I'm going to get right into it and make this quick. Oh, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted for a good night. A little bit of alcohol, a little bit of booziness. Not much, though. Wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was wrong. I was lying. Okay, a little booziness, but I get blood orange and a little off lemon. A little off lemon. You know those fake lemons that you can get at the store that has the juice in it? And you know how it's not as, it's not as fresh as if you, know, you got a regular lemon? Um, basically, I'm getting that kind of smell. It's just off. Not lemon lemon, you know, but, um... More of a lemonness to a citrus, if that makes sense. Mmm. Big blood orange, though. It's a deep, sweet smell. Um, rich. I mean, that's just a better word. Very rich smell, you know. It's fruit, but it's very strong fruit. Very, very sweet. This kind of smell makes me salivate. This is this is one of my best beers for sure, guys. Alright, well, uh, I poured it about 10 minutes ago, so there's not really any head. It went away, but there was about a finger of head. This beer, um, I think it was a little outdated. The guys who, who had it at the Art Maze I went to, they never, you know, they, they never sell out of this beer. It's always there. I'm the only one who buys it, I think, personally. So I'm like the craft beer dude. Um... But yeah, it's been sitting on the shelf, I could I can kinda of tell. And I had a couple of these or I had two of these last night. And um they were also pretty flat. So let's get a taste, see how it goes. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. I got a new snip to review on this too. Let's do dishes the other night. My hands were completely full of soap. And uh, I'm going to grab my snifter. Slow motion, just watch that shit sink. But um, anyways, guys, that tastes wow. Oh, that's got a bite to it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Again, no malt. No malt. I can drink this beer. Too fast if I wanted to. I ain't gonna because I'm smarter than that. And guys, 7.5%. So if you drink a couple of these, be careful. Just you gotta be safe. It's a warning you guys all need here. Um, but again, very big bite. No malt. Blood orange is mainly all I taste. A little bit of a lemon after aftertaste. Really not much though. Hold on. Gotta make weird faces when you're trying beer. I don't give a fuck. But man, a little bit of lemon, that's weird. The lemon, I feel you can smell it. A lot more than you can taste it. I mean, this beer, it has that orange, but that darker blood orange, basically. You know, I really don't know how to describe a blood orange. It's a little more, you know, orange, grapefruit, a little tarty, but it's sweet and it's deep, you know. It's a deep flavor. 
And that's what I like most about this for sure. So what you get is booze, blood orange, tangerine. I was going to say orange citrus, but I want to be more specific. Tangerines. I think, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I want to justify that shit. Mmm. Yeah, that tangerine. Ooh, strong. Acidic, very acidic beer. So if you're like me and you have heartburn, I want to take a pile of sex tonight for sure, guys. But booze, blood orange, tangerine, off lemon. Not too much hops. Um, it's a pretty balanced beer, but honestly, the fruit does overpower the hops. Again, it's like I can get a little bit of hops. Um, imagine when when you go when you go to the store, you get some beer. It's expired. It always happens when you get an expired beer, and you know how there's the hops, but it goes away really quick. Like you can you can have a sip, you can taste it, but after you know even a, a full without a full minute, it's already gone. That's what this has when it's not outdated. So if you want a very hoppy taste. I definitely wouldn't recommend this beer, but if you want a beer that you're not going to have to drink too much, an incredible kick, incredible taste, incredible power, this is it, guys. So, I got five minutes. Um, I'm going to try to hurry up. So, <laughs> it's funny how this is probably my quickest, you know, not as, my most inefficient YouTube review for beer. Guys, this beer... This is a nine beers out of ten, go. For real. I know I'm being quick, but this is better than everything else that I've tried. This beer was I'm trying to remember the price. It was thirteen or fourteen ninety nine. It was one of those. Um so yeah, it's a little pricey. But hey man, I mean with this beer even, you know, it's it's about the same price as the sculpin and all that. Yeah, it's actually a little cheaper, like only a dollar or two, but I feel you're you're getting a lot more flavor for your money. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, or if you want to get, you know, basically sculpin or this, um, you're going to get more for your money with this beer. Absolutely. It's just, you don't have beers like this. I've tried another beer. It was just called Blood Orange IPA by um, Flying Dog Brewery, which is, they make fantastic beers. I was talking to my buddy at the Armin yesterday about that actually. And um that beer it the 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 blood orange just did not work out. It wasn't strong enough. Um these guys blow it out of the park man. These guys show you why you want blood orange in your IPA. Um I can see that being a thing in the future as craft beer is booming like it has the last couple of years. A lot of more people are gonna be drinking it. Definitely, definitely I recommend put more blood orange in your beer because it is fucking fire, guys. Fantastic. 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for listening. I am Jake. This was uh, Flesh and Blood IPA by Dogfish, Dogfish Head in uh, Delaware, United States, 7.5%. Be careful. Again, booze, blood orange, tangerine, lemon. No half. Fuck the half. No half, honestly. Great beer, though. Go get it. Better than everything else that I've reviewed. I am Jake. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.